Welcome to another Olympiad math video. In this video, we're going to find the positive integers of a, b, and c in these two equations. Now how we're going to do this is we're going to subtract the first equation from the second one. Now that would look like this. We have a plus b, c minus a, b plus c, which is equal to 2021 minus 2020. Now we can go ahead and simplify that. And what we're left with is a plus bc minus ab minus c is equal to 1. Now that we have that, we can factor out an a and a c. So if you notice, we have a and then we have a minus ab. So we can factor out an a, so it would be a times 1 minus b. And then we can also factor out a c, so we'll have c times b minus 1. That would look like this which is equal to 1. Now ideally we want to have it so our 1 minus it's so basically we have a 1 minus b and a b minus 1 we want those to be the same to either be 1 minus b or both be b minus 1. Now we're going to make it so the c times b minus 1 is actually 1 minus b and how we're going to do that is multiply by a negative 1. So it would look like this. If we multiply that b minus 1 by negative 1, we'll have a 1 minus b. And we'll also need to multiply the c by negative 1. So once we write that out, we'll have a times 1 minus b minus c times 1 minus b is equal to 1. Now that we've done that, we can factor out a 1 minus b from the entire thing. So we'll have a 1 minus b times our remainder a minus c. Now, that is great because now we have two equations multiplying by each other, which means if we find out what 1 is equal to, it's equal to either 1 times 1 or negative 1 times negative 1. So therefore, we have two different cases to find a, b, and c. The first case is if it were to be 1 times 1. So we have our 1 minus b is equal to 1, and a minus c is equal to 1. Now we're solving it like that because if both sides are equal to 1, 1 times 1 is equal 1. And then if we do the other side the same way, our second case, we'll have a 1 minus b is equal to negative 1, and an a minus c is equal to negative 1, which a negative 1 times a negative 1 is also equal to 1. So the first one, 1 minus b, is equal to 1. That would be 0, so b is equal to 0. Now if we go to our original equation in the top left, we have a b plus c is equal to 2020. So in order for that to equal 1, if we were to plug in 0, that means c would have to equal 2020. Now in the second equation, if we were to plug in 0 for b, that means a would have to be 2021. So A is 20, 21, and C is 20, which also equals 1, which is perfect. So the next one, 1 minus B, which would have to be 2, is equal to negative 1. If we go up top to our original equation, if we were to plug in 2 for B, it'd be A2 plus C equals 20, 20, and it'd be A plus 2C equals 20, 20. And if we solve that, we'd get a is equal to 673, and c is equal to 674. And that works perfectly, because 673 minus 674 is equal to negative 1. Now this is, equation was a great, great example of finding the integers. If you have any other questions, please comment down below. Thank you for watching.